The Hindenburg disaster at Lakehurst, New Jersey on May 6, 1937 brought an end to the age of the rigid airship. The disaster killed 35 persons on the airship, and one member of the ground crew, but miraculously 62 of the 97 passengers and crew survived. After more than 30 years of passenger travel on commercial Zeppelins, in which tens of thousands of passengers flew over a million miles, on more than 2,000 flights, without a single injury, the era of the passenger airship came to an end in a few fiery minutes. Almost 80 years of research and scientific tests support the same conclusion reached by the original German and American accident investigations in 1937, it seems clear that the Hindenburg disaster was caused by an electrostatic discharge, i.e., a spark that ignited leaking hydrogen. The spark was most likely caused by a difference in electric potential between the airship and the surrounding air. The airship was approximately 60 meters, about 200 feet, above the airfield in an electrically charged atmosphere, but the ship's metal framework was grounded by its landing line. The difference in electric potential likely caused a spark to jump from the ship's fabric covering, which had the ability to hold a charge to the ship's framework, which was grounded through the landing line. A somewhat less likely but still plausible theory attributes the spark to coronal discharge, more commonly known as St. Elmo's fire. The cause of the hydrogen leak is more of a mystery, but we know the ship experienced a significant leakage of hydrogen before the disaster. No evidence of sabotage was ever found, and no convincing theory of sabotage has ever been advanced. One thing is clear, the disaster had nothing to do with the Zeppelin's fabric covering. Hindenburg was just one of many hydrogen airships destroyed by fire because of their flammable lifting gas, and suggestions about the alleged flammability of the ship's outer covering have been repeatedly debunked. The simple truth is that Hindenburg was destroyed in 32 seconds because it was inflated with hydrogen. The disaster was the subject of spectacular news reel coverage, photographs, and Herbert Morrison's recorded radio eyewitness reports from the landing field, which were broadcast the next day. The event shattered public confidence in the giant passenger carrying rigid airship and marked the abrupt end of the airship era. Photo credit, AP Photo, National Archive.